So um, here's the Cosmic Pi analog to digital conversion test. Um, this is the signal generator we've been using and it's set to 2.4 volts with a frequency of 1 hertz um, and we're sending a saw wave, uh, a ramp function, which has a um, vertical rise and then a decay. And here's our scope. You can see the output. It's pretty slow. So um, that's our 1 hertz wave with an amplitude of 2.4 volts. And then on the computer, um, we have the output. So this is being read out over serial. Um, it's a bit hard to focus, there we go. Um, and this is the uh, previous buffer minus two. Um, so N minus two buffer. And here we're reading the values out um, in a linear way. So I've set it up so that we're at full scale deflection, which is 4095 uh, for the ADC. And the first test I'm going to do is to lower the voltage. So I'm going to turn the voltage down. Let's set it to 2.3. And here we can see that we've gone down a bit. And let's take it down some more. Let's take it down to 2 volts. There we go, and now we're at uh, 3,700. What you can see here is the samples. So this is the zero, the first sample from the buffer, moving down to the 17th. We get consistently the um, rising edge on either the 16th or the 17th sample, uh, which is the purpose of this exercise. And then after that, you can see that the uh, ADC readings are monotonically decreasing. Um, we have both the, the A and the B channel here interleaved. So the 17th value would be A, the 18th would be B, A, B, A, B, and so forth. Um, uh, here's the uh, physical setup. So we've got our Arduino. In here, into pin two, we have the rising edge of our sawtooth. And then into A6 and A7, we have the sawtooth as well. So this is where we're doing the ADC sampling. And finally, we have the ground. Um, what I'm now gonna do is to ramp up the frequency. So here it's set to one hertz, and we can see um, how it's performing. Oh, one more thing before we start that is the buffer number here. So this is the number of the buffer that we were on when we had the trigger. And you'll see that it doesn't necessarily increase monotonically um, to do with the mapping. Um, so that in fact, at the moment, there are eight buffers. So we have count zero to seven. So now I'm gonna start increasing the frequency and you'll see that it flickers more quickly. And that we lose kind of the, the previous dynamic. Well, obviously we're having a new mapping for the buffer that was in use when we triggered. Um, we can see consistently we keep our position. So our code is, is fairly good. We're now at 2.4 hertz. And now I'm increasing it 3 hertz. I'm going to take it all the way up to five hertz. So this is our design spec. So the cope with five events a second. And you can see there it's flashing away and we have the monotonic decrease. And let's just wind the voltage down a little bit. You can see that that is decreasing as I turn it on. Um, and here is the square uh, saw wave on our scope. And um, again, you can see it's a lot faster now. Amplitude's pretty small. Um, so that's exactly what we were planning to do for this test. Um, as you can see, it, it works pretty well. Um, that was the full setup. And it took about three hours, I'd say, to get everything working correctly. I hope you've enjoyed this video.